Welcome to week two of three books to go. I'm Christine and I'm coming to you from the Cold Lake Public Library and I'm back again this week to make some more recommendations. This week I wanted to recommend some biographies or memoirs, life stories, however you want to frame it, but they're stories of people's own personal experiences. Um, I have three of my favorites to share with you. I only have one one prop with me at home this week, um, but all of these are items that you're going to be able to access with your Cold Lake Public Library card as usual on our one or many of our digital platforms. Um, and this time they're also three quite different formats. So let's go check those out. The first book that I wanted to recommend today is Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. So I'm sure you know Trevor Noah as the host of The Daily Show and as a comedian. Um, but this is the story of his childhood growing up in the 80s and 90s in South Africa. Um, and I wanted to recommend it because even though he was born into situations that were quite often really dangerous and always very unfair, he tells his story through the lens of a comedian. What I mean is like he's a keen and critical observer of the world around us. He points out cruelty and absurdity, but he does it while making us laugh, which seems impossible, but he pulls it off. Um, I have a couple of things I wanted to read. Um, to, to give you an idea. So this is from the back of the book. The compelling, inspiring, and comically sublime New York be Times bestseller about one man's coming of age, set during the twilight of apartheid and the tumultuous days of freedom that followed. Born a Crime is the story of a mischievous young boy who grows into a restless young man as he struggles to find himself in a world where he was never supposed to exist. Um, I also wanted to read you a short paragraph from Booklist. They gave this a starred review, um, and they said that this is a substantial collection of staggering personal essays. Incisive, funny, and vivid, these true tales are anchored to his portrait of his courageous, rebellious, and religious mother, who defied racially restrictive laws to secure an education and a career for herself, and to have a child with a white Swiss German, even though sex between whites and blacks was illegal. Trevor Noah's electrifying memoir sparkles with funny stories, and his candid and compassionate essays deepen our perception of the complexities of race, gender, and class. Born a Crime is available with your library card either from Overdrive or from Cloud Library um, as an ebook. I wanted to point out as well that it is available for two different reading levels. So this is the original, this is the one that he wrote, and it's for an adult audience. Um, but it's also been um, republished for young adult audiences. So if you have somebody in the house that's a bit younger that you think would be interested, this is a great one to recommend. Um, I also noticed as I opened up this that it is going to be a movie. I didn't realize that until I just saw that now, which is awesome. Um, and there's some more great recommendations, including from Jason Reynolds, who's another awesome YA author. Um, and I also wanted to apologize. I am trying to recommend things that don't have wait lists right now so that you can get right to reading. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I mean, it is. it just shows how popular and, and, and great a read it is, but there is a bit of a wait list for, for any of the versions. Um, it might be a little bit shorter in cloud libraries, sometimes it is, um, but I think it's worth it. Um, so I'm still recommending it anyway. Um, and I also wanted to mention that he has a new book coming out, so this is a good time to get in line for the new one. And finally, I just wanted to also acknowledge that I, I listened to this one as an audiobook. He reads it himself, obviously. He's um, excellent at reading and, and he does imitations of his mom and he can speak all of the languages and, and do accents. So it is great as an audiobook. Um, I'm really sorry that we can't offer it right now as an e-audiobook. It just isn't available in Canada right now for libraries. But we do have the CDs, so when the libraries open again, um, you can definitely get it that way. And I do think it's worth the wait either way, whether you um, want to get in line now for the ebook or whether that you wanted to wait until we're open and get it on audio. Either way, it's definitely worth your wait. The second title that I'm going to recommend today is Fun Home by Alison Bechdel. And I'm super excited because this is the first comic book that I get to recommend. And it's one of my favorites. It came out in 2006 and really changed the landscape in North America for 
publishing and the way that people approach comic books or graphic memoirs in this case or graphic novels in other parts of the world things like bande dessinée or manga or graphic memoirs were quite normal quite um, well accepted as being extremely broad in what they could do they didn't necessarily just think of comics as something that you read in the newspaper or as superheroes which they tend to get pigeonholed as in north america and that just isn't fair to them because they can be so much more they can really be anything the artist decides to do with them and in this case it, Alison Bechdel told her life story growing up in a small town in the United States, and this focuses quite a bit on the relationship between her and her father. I'm going to read the back of the book for you. So, this groundbreaking, best-selling graphic memoir, Alison Bechdel charts her fraught relationship with her late father. In her hands, personal history becomes a work of amazing subtlety and power. Written with controlled force and enlivened with humor, rich literary illusion and heartbreaking detail. Distant and exacting, Bruce Bechdel was an English teacher and director of the town funeral home, which Allison and her family referred to as the fun home. It was not until college that Allison, who had recently come out as a lesbian, discovered that her father was gay. A few weeks after this revelation, he was dead, leaving a legacy of mystery for his daughter to resolve. And this book has won tons of awards. There's a long list of awards listed on the back and on her website. So um, it's not hard to find a really positive review. I want to read just a few little tidbits from reviews on the book. Um, Time Magazine says, a masterpiece about two people who live in the same house but different worlds and their mysterious debts to each other. New York Magazine says, one of the best memoirs of the decade, at once hyper-controlled and utterly intimate. And Entertainment Weekly says, a splendid bio autobiography, refreshingly open and generous. And indeed, it is incredibly generous. It's, it's very open and revealing. And I've read it many times now. And each time that I read it, I find more things um, that I missed or just lots of details. She really puts a ton of 70s nostalgia, pop culture references and literary references into each panel. So it's worth taking your time and really looking to see what's in there. Um, one of the benefits of, of this medium is that people can be saying one thing, but they're, you do have facial expressions, which means that you can see sarcasm on the page, which is quite enjoyable and fun. Um, I'd like to point out too that this is a comic book that's actually been adapted for Broadway musical. So I don't think that happens very often. It's pretty incredible. Um, and like I said, it's won quite a few awards. So I, I'd really like to invite people to give this one a, a shot, especially if you've never tried comic books or graphic novels or graphic nonfiction before. I think it's one that's that's just so incredibly well done. It will it will get you interested in this medium, even if you think it's not for you. Um, and one final little bit of trivia: um, this is that Bechdel. So if you've ever heard of the Bechdel test. Um, that came from, it actually came from a friend of Allison's, but her name's been associated. So Allison Bechdel is the Bechdel test. Fun Home and a couple of other titles by Allison Bechdel are available to borrow in Hoopla. And it's great that it's offered in Hoopla, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one of the reasons is because Hoopla has created a list of special bonus borrows for the month of April. And that way that works is that they don't count towards your two borrows. So Hoopla doesn't have any wait lists, which is nice, but it does have a limit on how many items you can borrow per month, which is two items. But for the month of April, they've created this bonus borrows collection. I'm going to show you what they've put together. And so those ones don't count towards your two allotted borrows per month. So it's a great time to check out anything that is on your list that you kind of wanted to see, but you weren't sure you wanted to use one of your two borrows for. So you can limit your search by format or by reading level or, or anything. Now, the other reason that it's great is offered in Hoopla is because Hoopla has some great features for reading comics. And I'm going to show you what they are. I just hit resume. It'll take me back to the last page I was at when I was looking at it before. Um, and so it starts you off at a full page view. So if you were reading the book, this would be one, one page. Um, as you're reading, you can choose to either read it like that, or you can zoom in on an individual panel or zoom back out. Um, 
If you wanted to flip through the book and choose a specific page, you can do that through this page list button. That way you don't have to flip through it manually. You can just go directly to whichever page you're looking for. Um, I also have a feature enabled right now, and there's three of these features you can turn on or turn off in this function. The one that I'm going to show you right now is called Action View. So you can have it enabled so that you can show it either before or after or both um, when you're coming to or leaving a full page. So what that means is if you are reading it in the individual panel setting, when you use the arrows, it moves you from one panel to the next. But then you might like to know when you've turned a page and you'd like to see how the artist laid out the entire page and how those panels might relate to each other. And so when you have this function turned on, when you turn a page, you see the whole page all at once before you zoom in on an individual panel. Um, but if you continue using your arrows, it zooms right back into an individual panel for you. So the final feature that I wanted to show you is a magnifying glass. So if you would like to read it in even more detail and see it right zoomed right in, um, you can have this magnifying glass enabled. And it's worth it to take a look at some of her panels. She puts so much detail into her work. And most of the time, if somebody's reading a book, the book's title and cover are there for you. And then one last thing to note is because she's so often, as a kid, cleaning the house, cleaning the funeral home, um, you could probably make a game of seeing how often you see this awful pledge bottle in the, in the panel with her. My third and final recommendation today is by one of my all-time favorite authors, Eden Robinson. It's called The Sasquatch at Home, Traditional Protocols and Modern Storytelling. If her name sounds familiar, it could be because her excellent novel, Son of a Trickster, is one of the finalists for Canada Reads this year. And although that has been postponed, uh, there are still some great resources on the CBC website. So interviews with Eden Robinson and the other authors and some other book recommendations and interviews with the, the champions. So, so check that out. And also check out this one that I'm recommending, The Sasquatch at Home. This one is from uh, a lecture series in 2010. So again, it's another kind of a format. It's, it's quite short because it's a transcript of a, of a lecture that she gave. Um, it could have even been one I would have recommended last week for a super short read. Um, but it also has very personal stories, so I'm recommending it this week. And there's, there's three stories, although they are all kind of, they flow together and are interconnected. All of her stories include things about family, culture, place is very important. She's from Kitimat Village in the north coast of BC. Uh, it includes a story about a trip to Graceland that she took with her mom, a potlatch where she and her sister received their clan names, and then the feelings and maybe jealousies that came afterwards when they learned the stories about the names. Um, there's stories about Ulakin fishing, uh, how her parents met, and also a trip onto the land that she took with her dad around the time that she was writing Monkey Beach. And it was something she kind of needed to do to, to find the ending of the story. Um, I recommend that you read the footnotes. There's there's little side notes. They're definitely worth it. Uh, it is it is short, but like all the other short ones that I recommended, it still it contains multitudes. There's, there's little asides that are kind of stories within stories within stories, which make it... Um, a really satisfying and powerful read, even though it's pretty quick. Um, I'm also going to include a link down below. Uh, it's to a video from 2017 where she was the Writer's Trust Fellow and they did a five minute video. Um, I really recommend clicking on it and checking it out. I think it's great to see images of beautiful places. There's lots of great shots of the BC coast, which I miss and love. And I think it's nice to see, especially right now while we're all kind of looking out our windows. Um, and I also just think everybody needs to hear Eden Robinson laugh right now. She has the best laugh in can lit. That's, that's what she's kind of known for. <laughs> so check that out. So for Sasquatch at Home, you have your choice of which platform you want to read it on. It's available on four different platforms with your library card, including Hoopla. I wanted to show you that, unfortunately, unlike Fun Home, it isn't available as one of their bonus borrows, so it does count as one of your borrows, but of course it's worth it. And they do have some other titles in there in that same lecture series if you're interested in looking for those. It's also available in Cloud Library, 
it's down here, and then some of her other titles are there as well. It's also part of the Prairie Indigenous ebook collection, and they have lots of copies, so if all of the other ones are gone, you have lots of options for where to get it. And then finally, it is also available in Overdrive, or Libby is the app that you use with Overdrive. And in general, that's my favorite platform. I really like the interface and lots of the features they, ha they have, so that's the one I would go to. But sometimes it's out and then the other platforms work as well. And so here you see Son of a Trickster, which is the one that's part of Canada Reads and the sequel to that. And Monkey Beach, which is another title that actually I've heard is in production, so it will be a film soon as well. And Sasquatch at Home is right here. It shows it's borrowed because I have it out, but I will return it, so it'll be available before I publish the video. And this is what it looks like if you are interested in reading um, an ebook in your browser, which is what I'm doing on my laptop. This is what it looks like. And there's lots of these little oolican fish in there. So check it out. So those are three of my favorites in the memoir, biography, personal essay style of writing. Um, if any of those genres are new to you, graphic novels maybe, or um, audiobooks, any of those, um, I hope these are a good way for you to get started trying those out because it's great to have, to have lots of options for formats to take books in. Um, I hope you also find some great stuff. Hoopla has that offer on until the end of April, so don't forget to check it out because normally you're limited to only two items and right now you've got a whole bunch of extra stuff available to you. It's worth it to take a look and let us know if you have a favorite biography or um, if you're writing your own biography, that would be great to hear about that too. And any other comments or suggestions, we would love to hear from you. Otherwise, have a great week and I'll be back next time with the third video. Thanks!